I'm Charlotte Reed, and I'm the author and illustrator of the new book, May the Thoughts Be With You. About four years ago, I actually suffered from depression. So every day I used to write a positive thought each morning to try and uplift myself, to try and improve my mood. And I decided to actually post that thought every morning on my Facebook page. And a really lovely thing started to happen. A lot of my friends started to follow my thoughts. And within a few years, I had lots of followers um, saying, why don't you turn this idea into a book? You've got so many thoughts now, you could actually make something of it. And um, that's basically what I did. And then unfortunately at the time, I got um, repetitive strain injury from my office job. And I actually decided that it was time for me to, to leave the job and to actually do something creative. And I self-published my book and um, I started basically walking around London with lots of books in my rucksack and asking lots of independent bookshops if they would take some copies to sell and I also started a market stall at Portobello Road and within um, a few months I'd sold well over a thousand copies. Portobello Road is such a wonderful area, it's full of a community spirit which is really important to me and I've really realised how important it is to have that um, people looking out for you and that kind of sense of people care about you and the market has really brought that into my life. But usually what happens is um, I have a bit of a panic uh, most evenings and think what on earth am I going to write tomorrow morning and uh, usually um, I'll go to sleep and maybe I'll have a, a dream that inspires me to think of something or I'll wake up in the morning and I'll just lie there until I get something, something will just usually pop into my head and, um, and then I come downstairs and the first thing I do before I do anything else is I sit down at my, um, at my, at my desk in, in my uh, sort of dining area and I, I draw the thought and, and then I, I photograph it on my phone and then I watermark it and then I upload it to my um, Facebook page and Twitter and, and that's it for the, for the day. I think the one message that I'd like people to take away from what I've done is that even if you are going through the most horrendous time in your life, like I was when I had the depression, you can get through it and you can turn it around to be something really positive 